it's a hard thing for me to admit particularly on a blog that is about getting things done. But in the past, I have tended to uh, pack my diary full, to, um, to not take time really for me, to not take time for relaxation and just doing nothing. And that's because I didn't see the benefit to it. I really thought that doing nothing was a waste of time. I hadn't realised that actually taking time not to do things actually re-energizes you to do those things better. Uh, it allows you to kind of clear your head and um, understand what is important and what is not so important. You get so bogged down in the detail that you think that you think everything has to be done when really only three or four things need to be done. And taking that time out just to just to relax, re-energize, clear your head. I, it's, that was a learning experience for me. Um, the other thing is thinking that if I don't do it, then you know it's going to go, it's going to go downhill, and that's just not true. Um, often, if I'm not there to do something, somebody else will pick up the slack. If if there's something that I have to do, I can actually delegate those things to somebody else and sometimes they can be done better. For example, the gardening. I can do the I could do the gardening, but having somebody else that knows what they're doing to do the gardening actually means it's done quicker, it's done more efficiently, and yeah, so I mean that's one of the things. And and that gives me more time to do my own you know, just to be with myself really. And I guess that's um, the third point is really being with myself is very difficult. So packing everything into a day is easier for me to do than actually spending time just with myself. Um, but not just, it's not just about relaxation. It's also about having some fun. And I do have fun and I do see my friends and I do let my hair down and... Um, but I'm always then thinking about the things that have to be done. And so not only do I need to take time to relax, but I need to take time when I'm having fun to really be present and really enjoy that time that I'm spending with friends and family and make sure that, um, yeah, I'm there with them. And it is an enjoyable experience. So my commitment to relaxation and having fun is to have at least eight hours a week of either having fun or relaxing, spending time with myself or going out with friends and, and having a great time. And I think that that will allow me to redress the balance in my life and allow me to actually move forward faster.